she comes across like diamonds, diamonds Easy in love when the lights are low She comes in to focus, focus The closer she gets, the more I know She takes more whiskey than my wine, I wine Okay, we're at that point in the evening where the sun is getting closer to being down we're still getting some sunlight, but it is uh, getting a little bit more. I had to help it along with some uh, with some uh, internal lights uh, to light up the wall behind me. But there is still some daylight happening. Time is now 6:53 p.m. I have here something that I have wanted to try. This is a Lagavulin 12 from 2020. This is the 2020 edition. I think I have not had the 2019 edition, but I have had the 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018 editions, but not the 2019 and not the 2021. But I have the 2020 here. So far, my favorite was the 20. 14. Just saying. Now this one here, they've changed the whole presentation. They have put a eagle or some kind of chicken on here, which wasn't there before. Uh, apparently, then the 2021 has a cat of some kind on it. I don't know if it's a tiger or a lion or whatever. I just remember seeing somebody uh, doing it. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to be opening this up and pouring it into glass. And then I'm going to be reading what is on the... Oh, no. This had to go the same way as the Glen Grant. Oh. Don't you hate when that happens? The little foil thing broke again. You have to cut it with a knife. There. Now maybe I can wrestle the, the foil off of there. Yeah. And now maybe I can wrestle the foil down a little bit so that it won't come in contact with the whiskey when I pour it. I know there are some people who enjoyed watching me struggle with opening bottles in the past. And if you get off on that kind of thing, great. Good for you. Here we go. All right. This is Lagavulin 12. Lagavulin 12, uh, Diageo, what does it say on the label here? Lagavulin, Isla Single Malt, Scotch Whiskey, age 12 years, 2020, special release, soaring, smoky, and intense, the King of Isla, natural cask strength, and the cast strength is 56.4% alcohol by volume. 56.4. That is good. That is a lot. Imported by Diageo, New York, New York. Uh, phone number 1-800-something. Uh, serving facts, serving size. Nah, 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 They're all going to tell me I'm unhealthy and I should die real soon because I drink more than I should. Whatever. Okay, here. Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey 2020 Special Release. Soaring Smoky Intense, the same as it said over there. King of Isla, Natural Cask Strength. Ah, what's all this fine print on here? Okay. <clears throat> Before I even knows it. Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, age 12 years. 
This single vintage Lager Woolen has been matured in traditional refill American oak casks selected to give a perfect expression of distillery character. Soaring in taste and intensity, the flavor is powerful and assertive yet subtly sweet. Lagavulin is an iconic Isla malt. It's a majestic spirit steeped in history for over 200 years, standing proud in a rocky bay crowned with a castle by the lords of the Isles who long ago ruled Isla. It reigns supreme today like the white-tailed eagle that soars high above sea and shore nearby. And I have been to that distillery about three years ago. Lambing season. Yes. Uh, Lagavulin. Did we go in there? Yeah, I ended up buying a 2017, I think, of like... Like Woolen 12. The aromas of this modern day King of Isla are elusive until familiar hints of ash and linseed oil emerge. A light fruity note follows, as does a clean, fresh whiff of the sea. Like breathing in the air of Lago Woolen Bay, the texture is smooth, the big taste sweeter than expected, intense and deeply smoky with a long and commanding finish. And I remember climbing up the ruins of that castle right on the edge of the bay. There's not much left. It's like one corner of the castle is still there, and the steps are kind of precarious, and you got to watch your step to get up there. But I remember getting up there. And did I take a picture from there? I don't remember. But I do remember visiting Lagavulin. Yes. I did visit Lagavulin. All right. What did I pay for this pleasure? Eh. See so, you now. It's got to be one of the high ones. Here we are. Hundred sixty nine ninety nine Canadian dollars. But there's more. Uh, so, 17 divided by 2, $8.50 goods and services tax, plus one seven. Equals $25.50, $25.50 tax plus 10 cent bottle deposit plus uh, $169.99. $195.59 out the door if you paid with. Uh, uh, debit card or credit card or 195.60 if you paid with cash because we don't have pennies in Canada anymore. $195 for this here bottle. Oh yeah. Lagavulin 12s are not cheap. They don't come easy. They cost Oh, but you know what? When I nose this right away, I get some of that peatiness, that tanginess, that wonderful Lagavulin character right up the nose. Ah. Uh, <sighs> what am I getting? What am I getting? How strong did they say? <coughs> <coughs> How
how strong do they say this was? 56 something. Uh, 56.4. That's, uh, that's enough. I would say that's enough. 56.4. Right away, I get some creosote. Creosote. Get a woodiness. It's like wood that's been preserved with creosote. And I'm just thinking back to that day back in 1970, 71. When my dad was... Brushing pure creosote onto the deck to preserve the wood. Oh my goodness. We're going back more than 50 years to the first time I experienced creosote. There's plenty of it here. I'm getting a little bit of espresso coffee with my creosote. Usually with heavy peated whiskeys, at this point I would be getting some some citrus and there it is, as if on cue, lime. <coughs> Just have to clear my nose so that I could smell it better. <coughs> Just like I have to clear my throat. Oh, yeah. There's that lime citrus note that I often get with heavy peat. There it is. Right on target. Why am I getting just a tiny bit of sulfur. I don't usually get sulfur. Maybe because my nose is full of snot? I don't know. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. Why is my nose getting runny now? Ugh. Sinuses. You know that that smokiness, or should I say that sulfurness, could be coming from somewhere else. Okay. Limey citrus. I think I've gotten past the creosote, past the smoky notes. I'm going to taste it. If anything, that cleans the nose out. 
just to have it in your mouth, the vapors rise and they go in and clean out your sinuses. I get some espresso coffee notes. Maybe I should wait till this opens up. Once again, some lime on the nose. Why did my nose have to start getting congested now? Okay, lime citrus. Espresso coffee. Wee bit of chocolate, dark chocolate, towards the end. <clears throat> and it's leaving a peaty, smoky, somewhat ashen aftertaste towards the end. Did it say anything about that on here? I forget now. It says on here, subtly sweet. Yes, the sweetness is very subtle. But it is there. I just had to get re reminded that it is there. I will come back to this someday when my sinuses are not plugged up. But I'm still getting the same things here. A little bit of lime citrus, a little bit of creosote. Now I would say that I'm fully acclimatized. To this whiskey. Yes, that's right. There is a sweetness on the finish. There is a subtle sweetness on the finish. Yes. Yes, there it is. Nice. I approve. I will have to come back to it when I'm, when it's opened up and when I'm more open to it. Oh, and now I'm getting a little bit of creosote on the finish, a little bit of ashiness. Oh, it's it's nice. It's very nice. It's what a peated whiskey should be. Lagavulin 12, 2020 edition. Slanchova. Food Queen. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>